Hello everyone and welcome to this new and exciting session in which we are going to show you how to create images like this from very simple text prompts. The model responsible for creating these kinds of high quality images from text prompts is the DAL-E model and this model was developed by OpenAI. You can see here this example where we have this text prompt passed in a storefront that has the word open AI written on it. You see clearly here how this model is able to generate a storefront and then as you can see open AI is written on all those different storefronts. In this other one you have the exact same card at the top as a sketch on the bottom. You see here we have this cut and then we have the different sketches at the bottom. In this session, we are going to focus on the DAL-E mini model. Now, this DAL-E mini model is readily available on Hugging Face Spaces. And we are going to see how to run or how to create our own images from our own text. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss amazing content like this. Before we move on to demoing how we could generate images from text prompts using the DAL-E model. We are going to get a big picture of how this DAL-E mini version works. Now it should be noted that this DAL-E mini version was developed by these members of the Flex GX community and they are able to produce these results in just about a month. Here for example you could see this demo we have an avocado armchair flying in the space. See those images which have been generated by this DAL E mini model, which is actually a smaller version of the DAL E model. Now, note that training a model or a large model like DAL E will take so much computation resources and time. And so, the authors of this DAL E mini model had the task of creating this model which performs very well while working with much smaller hardware resources. Down here, we have this model architecture. That is the overall model architecture. Here, as you can see, you have the image and then you have the text right here. For example, we have aerial view of beach at night. So this is how we train this model, the text, the image. And then we pass this image through a VQ GAN. VQ actually stands for Vector Quantized GAN. And you could check out the paper taming transformers for high resolution image synthesis. Then from here we have this image encoding vector which has been generated right here. Then we take this text and pass it through this sequence to sequence model which is composed of a BART encoder and a BART decoder. As you can see here we have this information which is passed between the encoder and the decoder and then we have this VQGAN tokens which are also fed into the decoder. The BART signifies bidirectional autoregressive transformers and that's because we have this bidirectional encoder and we have an autoregressive decoder right here. It should be noted that this year is fine-tuned. So this is a fine-tuned the encoder, the VQGAN encoder is fine-tuned. So it has already been pre-trained and then it's now fine-tuned. While this one year, the BART encoder is pre-trained, the BART decoder is trained from scratch. So with this year, with this uh, text passed into our sequence to sequence model, we output this encodings. Now we are going to compare this encodings with the encodings from the image. So we have this image produces on encodings. We have the text produces on encodings. And then we compare this and we try to minimize this using the cross entropy loss. Now we are going to get into this inference pipeline. And it should be noted that here, unlike previously, we have only the text. So here we have only this text which we are going to pass and we expect to generate an output like this one. So we have the text here, white snow covered mountain under blue sky during daytime. So we see clearly here that it does well in producing this kind of cool output. So the way this works is we're going to take this our text and pass through our BART encoder. Recall our sequence to sequence model, the same model we had or we have trained already. We get this uh, text pass through the encoder, then pass you know, the information to the decoder. Then here we're able to generate samples of tokens. You see here we have different samples of tokens. And then 
this VQ again here instead now generates images from these tokens. So we're able to get these tokens pass through VQ again, generate different images from these tokens, and then we have a clip model which is used to select the best generated images. So um, as explained here, we have the top K images which have been selected, and that's what we get as output. You'll see during the demo that we could get, or we are gonna get several images. And this comes from the fact that we have different samples which are produced, and then the top K uh, best samples is what we have to, or it's what we get in the output. That said, again, you could get to back to this paper, Taming Transformers for High Resolution Image Synthesis, and you could better understand the VQGAN encoder and decoder, which has been used here. Note how before, that's during training, we have this encoder, and then later on, we use the decoder. For the encoder, we left from image to token, and now we're leaving from these tokens to the images. So that's the major differences or the major difference in the roles of the encoder and the decoder of the VQ again. So we could get to the paper and have all this information. Now um, the authors also compare this DAL E mini model with the open AI DAL E model. So here we have DAL E uses 12 billion parameter version of GPT-3. In comparison, our model is 27 times smaller with about 0.4 billion parameters. So although this is a DALI Mini, it still contains quite a lot of parameters. We heavily leverage pre-trained model, or rather models, like what we've just seen, while OpenAI had to train audio models from scratch. Yeah, the DALI encodes images using a large number of tokens, DALI encodes text using fewer tokens, and a smaller vocabulary. Then the DALI reads text and images as a single stream of data, while the DAL E mini splits them between the sequence to sequence encoder and decoder. Then the DAL E reads the text through an autoregressive model while in this paper they use the bidirectional encoder. Then finally the DAL E uses much larger training set compared to the DAL E mini model. And so as you can see, thanks to all this uh, modifications, they were able to train this model on a TPU in three days. Here they show us the different reconstructions by the VQGAN model, which was pre-trained. And here you see they give you all, like, all information which you may use to reproduce the same experiment. So all the information related to training is being uh, given here in this 1DB report. They also carry out some hyperparameter tuning right here to find a good learning rate. So that's it. You could also have the different metrics which have been tracked. And then here we have some results. White snow covered mountain on the blue sky during the day, area view of beach during daytime, area view of beach at night. You see clearly the model does very well. A farmhouse surrounded by beautiful flowers and all of that. So this is what our model produces, and we're going to see how to produce ours. Um, here you see it becomes a bit complicated. Pele and Maradona in a hypothetical match. So generally what the model does it is it produces two players. Generally, you have two players, but it's not very clear what the model is outputting and in terms of their faces, uh, the images in general, like here you see it's not very clear whether this is a football pitch or not. Uh, Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson in a hypothetical match. Uh, you have this boxing ring. You have generally two players, but it's still not very clear. But one great thing is at least you could see that generally here we feel like this is a football pitch and here we have a boxing ring. Now that's it. Um, you have the results, the qualitative comparison of the DAL E mini model and open AI's DAL E. Here you also have this um, qualitative comparison between the DAL E mini and the DAL E PyTorch. See what DAL E PyTorch produces and what DAL E mini produces. And that's it. You could see these different outputs. 
and then here they also explain all the different limitations and biases of this doll e mini model and so with that, I want to thank those authors, Boris, Suraj, Pedro, Kali, Tanish, Q, Fuk, Luke, and Rito Bratar for producing this amazing 1DB report. Now, there we go. Welcome to this Hugging Face Paces, Dali Mini. All we need to do is pass in uh, a text in here, and we let Dali Mini do its job. There we go. We are now going to generate our images from text prompts. And here we're going to type in playing, playing soccer with a guitar. Let's run that. It's going to take a while, as you could see. Our predictions may take up to five minutes under high load. Please stand by. So we're going to wait for a while and then get our results. That's it. Here's what we get. You could simply, uh, or you could get other images by simply clicking on it again. You could get other images. And here's what we get. So feel free to try your own text prompts. And if you get some output that you find really, really interesting, please leave a comment without text prompt. That means if you, for example, you've passed in playing soccer with a guitar and you really love the output and you want to share with us, get to the comment section and just simply put that so we could also, uh, so that others could try that out. With that, thank you for getting around to this point and see you next time.